Hi, Kevin Tharp again. Uh, what we're doing today is we're looking at the behavior flow report. We're, we're following on the Google Analytics for Beginners series of reports. And so we're looking at the Google Analytics reports. We're looking at the behavior in this series. And what we're going to look in this specific video is the behavior flow. Now, the flow report is actually one of my favorite because I'm able to really take a look at this and see how the users are interacting with my system. Uh, so when I come in here and uh, I get in here and what it's going to do is it's just going to show you generally starting with the the um, metric that I'm looking at initially is landing page and it's going to show me the different uh, landing landing pages that I have in here. Uh, I can scroll through to see where they go from there. So the index.cfm is is our home page. Uh, then we've got the logins page and we've got the learn uh, which is the, the the gateway to log into our it's our classroom management system so that's uh, where the people come in here and so the first thing I want to do is show you some of the features of this so as I'm looking over here I'm gonna stay on landing page from now but you can change uh, what metric you want to look at here but what I want to do here is I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna highlight the traffic through there what that does is it shows me uh, the path that people are using when they come in through that landing page. It's going to show me when I highlight it, it, it unhighlights these other ones uh, and it shows me where people move through here. So it lets me start understanding uh, and visualizing how people who start at this page go through the system. And you see it's sort of a spider web. People move in and about and around. Uh, most of the people using this system are very familiar with it because they use it day in and day out uh, to do their work. So the other thing that I can do, I can um, clear the highlighting on that and then let's look at this logins. So um, I want to highlight the traffic through there. I could set it up so that I only see that one, but I'm not going to do that at this point. So here what I can see is that when people start at this UW Stout logins page and in my previous page what I showed you was that the logins is one of the links up here and it's linked to all the different systems that you need to log into uh, if you're part of this organization so when they have this as their landing page and that's what this is showing me is that the landing page is UW Stouts they come in here and you'll notice that this path here shows uh, all of the paths go through here because that's just the beginning of the path this is really the beginning of the path and what it shows you is that the people who show up in that logins page um, of that 49,000 sessions uh, 20 or 11,000 of them or 23.4 percent of those come straight to log into this learn at UW Stout so it, it's by far the largest page and then you see 37,000 of those uh, drop off. And the reason that they do is that, and that's what this black part or red part means, is that they're dropping off there. That means that they're leaving the site. And the reason that that number is so high in this case is because when they log into that other system, they leave the website. And so they're shown as they drop off there. And so that shows me that this logins page is it's used for a lot of things but the thing it's most used for is getting into this learn um, index page so that they can log on to our system and because this is such a highly used page I want to go ahead and I want to uh, explore this and by clicking on it I can choose explore traffic through here and what this will do is it will I'll rearrange all the data so that I'm really only looking at the people who are going through that um, that learn page and so it allows me to see uh, before getting there and after so step zero this one right here is showing me the people who went to that uh, learn um, login page so learn is what we call that content management system so I can look backwards to see how they got there and I can look forward to see where they went from there so um, what I see when I look forward is that the vast majority of them come to the this logins page and then they log into the system and they drop off uh, there's a lot of people that drop off on this page 
and they may be going to one of the other pages that you can log into from uh, there or, or just leaving the system whatever for whatever reason they're leaving here but these you can assume most of those are uh, logging into our content management system now there are things that you can do uh, and I'll show this later you can add steps to this process so you can see where do they keep going uh, if they keep interacting with pages and you can add I think up to about 11 of these steps to, to get a visualization of how they got uh, or where they went to once they're here the same thing can happen over here you can look at where they came from so here's step zero there's step negative one so um, looking at all the data in front of us uh, 54,000 entrances came straight to that page so they came this was the first page that they went to um, there were 126,000 sessions that came from this logins page so that's a lot of traffic going from this page to this page so that they can log into that one system so um, moving back uh, there were 45,000 entrances to that logins page so we've got people coming in straight to the login to the the content the classroom management system we've got people coming straight to the uh, logins page that gives you access to all logins and then the bulk of the people are coming from the index page see both both of these top two entrance points are from the same page because this is the root level of the site which happens to be uh, also index.cfm so uh, all of these people from both of these are actually coming from the same website and then going in there and that was is responsible for 62,000 sessions that are coming from the home page to the logins page and then uh, 126,000 of those um, so 62,000 from here um, 15,000 from here 45,000 from here adds up to the 126,000 and then those 126,000 move on to log in to the content management system page so that's a lot of traffic taking at least two steps to get to this location uh, a lot of people 54,000 which is one-fourth roughly of the people who are coming in are going straight to that um, and so if we keep walking backwards we'll see that this starts dropping off pretty quickly um, some of them start on the logins page and end up making their way back to the logins page uh, but this drops off pretty quickly the the number of people logging in from or, or taking more steps than that so the insight that this gives us is that for the people who are coming into the uh, login to the content management system they're going through there are a lot of them that are going through more steps than what we need to do so that's the kind of insight that this can be here so if I was to take that information and I was to look at this um, this process this uh, of how you get there if I go to the home page uh, I have got to uh, if I go straight from here which is the first place that people would naturally land I've got to go to logins and then I've got to go into the learn at UW Stout and then I've got to click on this is that third button where you actually access the login page uh, that, that we use so that you can actually get into the system so what that leaves is an awful lot of traffic an awful lot of clicks that are going on in order to get to the point where they can log on to that so if I were to take and look at how can I optimize this website and that's one of the things that you're looking at when you're looking at analytics is how can I make it easier for people to do the things that they want to do because we saw that in the overview we saw that the uh, logins and the learn uh, uh, are more than half of the traffic are going to those two sites one of the things that could be done to help to improve that is to on this home page go ahead and put this link right here and that would save all of those people that are making that traffic 
three clicks each time they're trying to log in. A lot of people have adapted and gone to the point where they come straight to this page, uh, but that's the insight that you can get. And that's one of the reasons why I really like this behavior flow chart because it able, enables you to see how people are moving through your site so that you can see where they drop off, what they do, and the paths that they're taking. Now up to this point in showing you how to use this report, the only thing that I have used is this metric of landing page to look at what people are doing coming in from uh, that landing page and seeing how they flow through the system. You, there's a whole series of options and anytime you see this kind of a uh, tool on one of these reports, it means that it's going to give you the ability to, to change uh, the types of information that you're looking at. So if we wanted to look instead of landing page, if we wanted to look at uh, the source and medium to see how people are traveling here, well, that gives us a whole new set of insight. Uh, you're looking at a different page, not where they're landing, but where are they coming from? And so you're able to start looking at, uh, based on how we acquired them or the acquisition aspect, how do they then behave after they get here? So. Um, Take some time, go in and look at these different options uh, to see, you know, what are the different things that you can find out. There's all different types of information you can get. And this report shows how they flow through your, your site based upon whatever you choose as this, um, this primary uh, metric at the beginning. So uh, give it a try. Enjoy this report. Check it out. Have fun with it. We'll talk to you later. Bye.